Hey everyone, welcome to the Shake Up. Uh, I've been watching a whole bunch of uh, YouTube videos about how to read the racing form and all that stuff. And I'm going to put my own spin on it. Uh, I watched a bunch of videos and they've just been throwing too much shit at people. <laughs> If you're new to the game, you do not have to know what everything in this racing form is. Uh, most of it is use, useless information. Uh, and I'm going to get you started with what to look at first, how to start classifying your horses, knowing what type of horse it is. And that will get you leading to a skill, a skill of uh, classifying what kind of horses you got, putting them in a, what kind of running style they are. And that will be the foundation of a lot of handicapping. It'll be the foundation of uh, watching races, trip handicapping, pace handicapping. And it's really the first thing you should learn. Uh, whenever a new person goes to the track with me and they get a racing form, uh, this is what I make them do the first day because I don't want to get erupted. Uh, too much. I want to give uh, them something they can learn, uh, develop a skill. And uh, if you guys watch the Shake Up, you know I'm all about developing handicappers. Uh, so the first day you come to the track with me, I really, you don't know enough to know anything. Uh, we'll probably get a few little bets on with you, but I definitely need to give you guys a task. Uh, to keep you busy, keep you interested, and feel like you're learning something. Uh, so this is what I think you need to do first. Uh, and before we start with the racing form, I give them a quick little thing about routes and sprints. Uh, because you're going to need it. Uh, so first of all, I consider sprints. Seven furlongs and less. Routes, 7.5 furlongs on up. Uh, that's, that's my definition of routes and sprints. And then I give out a running style, uh, basic little running styles uh, definitions for the new people. Uh, speed horses has to have the lead or within the length of the lead at the first call. Uh, so that's my definition for a speed horse. Uh, stalkers, within one to four lengths of the leader at the first call. And then closers, I have five lengths back or farther at the first call. Uh, so I give everyone this little breakdown, uh, and then we're going to go to the racing form and uh, do a quick little lesson for the newbies. And maybe some of you veterans. I, I also notice there's a big push. Everyone's talking about giving pace ratings and all of this bullshit or uh, speed, early speed ratings. Uh, it's a fucking joke. Uh, you should be you should be able to pick this up very quickly. I'd say at the end of the day, if you need more than a week at it, uh, you probably got some problems. Uh, horse racing is not exact science. We're not worried about that. We just want you to get a, efficient at uh, knowing what type of running style is. So the first thing you want to know, you want to know the distance. We're going to have the distance right up here. Real simple stuff. Seven furlongs. So it's going to classify as a sprint. Everything is uh, seven furlongs or less. So the best thing you do is you want to get as close to the distance as you can when you're doing this. Uh, but racing, we got horses trying all different distance and uh, doing different things. So, you know, we want to get close. It's never going to be perfect. Uh, but this is what we're going to do. Uh, so there's one horse. I already wrote what I think their running style is. Uh, remember, this is the simplest of breakdowns for the newbie. Uh, so what we want to do, we want to go to the first call. And the first call is right here that I'm boxing. Right? We want to look at the distances of the races that the horse been running at. Let me move that to the side. Is right here. 
because we want to be comparing it mostly to seven furlongs and, and other sprints. Seven furlongs, six and a half, six, five, whatever. Uh, seven furlongs would be the best. And uh, here's the first step of handicapping. So we want to get the distance. So we've seen the horse ran a bunch of routes, and the last three races were all seven furlongs. So those are the races we want to concentrate, the last three races. Boom, right there. Uh, we see uh, at the first call, last race, this horse was uh, battling for the lead. He was first by probably a head. They don't put the head there. Second race, he was one by one lengths back. And then we get one weird old race where he was five, five by six lengths back. Uh, overall, he looks like a speed horse from the last two races. It's good to look over at the comments here. Slow break, probably why he wasn't on the lead. Uh, pretty safe to say this horse probably wants the speed based on his last three races. Put him as a speed horse. Go to the two horse. Same thing. We got a bunch of uh, six furlongs, five and a half, six and a half, five and a half. We can look at pretty much all of these races. First time out, he was way back. You can give a little bit of forgiveness for first time out. Remember, this is not exact science. We're looking for the majority. We're not looking at running position. See those six, five, six, the big numbers? We're looking at the small numbers at the first call. See all those threes? He's within four lengths of the lead at the first call, never on the lead. I got him as a stalker. More than likely, he's going to be a stalker today. I wanted to throw in a, a little different of a race. We got a first-time starter in this race. We don't know what he is. There's nothing wrong with saying we don't know what he is. Question mark. When we watch this race, if this horse is on the lead, we couldn't predict it. If he's dead last, we can uh, predict it. Uh, I just got him as a question mark. The four horse. We got a mile 16th. We really don't want to use that in our thing if we can help it. And we got a couple six furlong races. So again, we're going to be looking at these two races. He's 12 lengths back and five lengths back. Probably a closer. Pretty simple. Probably a closer. I mean, they're lightly raced, so he could show speed, but probably a closer. The five horse is another little tricky one. We got him. Uh, we got two six, uh, six and a half, and a six for a long race. Uh, the six furlong race, he was three and three quarters behind. Looks like a stalker right there. The next race, his second time out, he was five lengths back. That would put him in his closer category. I would look at this horse like uh, I'm looking at him both ways. He's a stalker and a closer. So I just put STCL, stalker, closer. I'm starting to classify these horses. The six horse. We got a six furlong and a seven furlong race, so both our distance are good. We're going to go right here. He's lightly raced, but so far he's never had the lead, and he's never been far enough to be called a closer. Uh, I'm going to call him a stalker. There's always room for error. Look, he he could have the lead. Lightly raced, but uh, as handicappers, we got to kind of go with the information that we're given so far. Uh, and, you know, there'll be more advanced handicapping than this, but this is the first thing that I give uh, new players a chance to do. I got him as a stalker. The seven horse, last race, mile and a 70. I'd just throw that race out. I don't really need to look at it. We're going to be looking at these races here. We go over. Uh, so two races back, eight by five, looks like a closer. Three races back, eight by seven, looks like a closer. Oh, we got one race here where he's seven by four. But then we got a six by six and a seven by 12. I would just put him as a closer. And then we got another little tricky horse here again. And there's no really right answers to this. By the way, I'm using a form that hasn't ran. So I don't start 
So I'm not a, let's see, this is Thursday's form. Today is Tuesday. So I don't know what the answer is going to be. But his first race out, he came out 10 lengths slow, 10 lengths behind the leader. And then the very next race, he got a much better break. He was two by one. That's a much better race. Uh, so he had one race, one race stalking, one race closer. But, you know, rules in handicapping are made to be broken. There's no hard, fast rules. Uh, I would lean on calling him a stalker. I'm willing to forgive his first time out. We, we really don't have a comment here. Just says failed to uh, threat, and it doesn't say anything about a bad bet or a bad break, but that's how I would start looking at him. Then the next step I have everyone do, just give me three lines. Basically, we're going to do the next, next step is just going to be the simplest step here. We got three lines. We're going to put our speed horses above it, our stalkers in the second column, and our closers in the third column. If we got a horse that's labeled speed and stalker, we'll, we'll split the difference and put them on the line, or stalker closers, we'll split the distance and put them in the middle of the line. So the eight horse, we're just going to put them. We're looking at a stalker. Put the number. Seven, we got him as a closer. Six, we have, have as a stalker. Five is our first uh, borderline horse, stalker closers. We just want to have him straddling that line so we know to look at him in both categories. Four, so we're going to have as a closer. Three, first time starter, the question mark, we don't know. We're just going to throw him off to the side. There, there's no reason to guess. We're, we're not really looking for win, winners or bets right now. This is all we want. Uh, two horse, we got as a stalker. And the one horse we have is the speed horse. So this is the first lesson what you should be doing. So what do we got right now? What do we have right now? We basically have a breakdown of what we think this uh, race shape would be. Right? Yet we're mature enough to know that it could be wrong. Uh, but we're going to use a little bit of common sense. Right now, we're looking at this race like the one is probably the lone speed. Doesn't mean he is. These are lightly raced horses. Hell, the three horse could have speed, and all of a sudden, you got a speed battle. Uh, but we, you know, we know he's off to the side. Uh, we're not saying that any of these horses can't get the lead other than the one. Uh, but if we're going to take an educated guess, It'll probably be, you know, one of the stalkers that are going to lead. It's probably less likely that the four or the seven is going to get the lead. Uh, so this is what I tend to uh, give to first-time players. Uh, and I have them do this a few races before I'm even willing to tell them to go back. Uh, and what we want to do after this is obviously you want to watch the race. Uh, I can't show videos, and like I said, this uh, this uh, video is being made before these races are being run. Um, so now, now you got this. You got your little newbie over there, and he wants. To, they want to watch this race, and they want to see just how close they are. And I want them to do this for quite a few races before we even start betting. 
I, I want them to do this. I want to see how good they are. Uh, obviously, as we get, there are going to be uh, ones that they get wrong. Uh, I got some thoughts about route to sprint and sprint to routes where I uh, do things a little bit different. But this is the first basic thing you want to do. Uh, maybe we should do one more race. Uh, and I say it's the basic of handicapping because this will go a long way. So once you get this done, you'll want to see this race and see how good you are. You To probably be good, you probably should be right about 70 to 88 or 80% of the time of uh, classifying their horses. Uh, you know, sometimes you'll have a bunch of horses on the lead. But when you're watching the races, you got to watch for excuses. So let's just say we had the one, two, three all getting the lead. But the two horse misses the break. You want, to, you want to see how he did? Did he rush up? You know, we're, we're starting to watch races as a handicapper. As a very beginning baby handicapper and hopefully someone that will grab to, towards this game. Uh, we, we want to give people something to learn to start instead of just getting beat to death at the very start and not having a clue. This is a fundamental. Uh you know, so you'll start being able to make excuses. You know, he reared at the gate. He's too got, you know, you, you want to start watching races. And like I said, this will be the base of pace handicapping uh, right now. Uh, you know, you use a little common sense. Uh, you tell the person, let's, let's just say if they did a few of these races successfully and he was looking to be a bat. You know, you'll you'll say, you know, you let them come and think of it. Uh, I think the one's getting an easy lead. Uh, so maybe I want to go wire to wire. Or at least you can very say, uh, you know, what type of horses do you like? Well, I like horses closing uh, from far out of it. They know to start looking at this group, right? Oh, I like the horses that get first run. They start looking at this group. I, I want someone to go wire to wire. There's not a lot of speed. You know, it's it's the foundation of pace pace handicapping. Uh, the, like I said, this is very basic. Uh, let's do the second race. So we got a mile race. So it's a little bit different of a race. Uh, I'm probably not going to throw in the extra rules. Maybe I will. I, I'm not sure because I'm doing this by the seat of my pants right now. I didn't map out my thoughts or anything. Uh, so this is a mile race. So it's better to look at these races. All right. Look at this race. He's nine lengths back. He's three lengths back. This race, he's four lengths back. He's three lengths back. He's seven lengths back. He's six lengths back. Sounds like a stalker closer right there. We don't we don't need any uh pace figures or anything. Let's see this horse. We're gonna want to look at the route races. So seven and a half furlongs and up. I'm I'm underlining. We're still looking at the first call right here. What type of horse we got? Just go all the way back. He's two lengths back. He's three lengths back. He's one length back. He's three lengths back. He's looking like a stalker. Don't look at these route or these sprint races right now. He's two lengths back. Didn't really have an excuse that one race uh, that he was six or five lengths back, but I, I'd, I'd probably put him as a stalker also. Just keep it pretty simple. We're going to go to the three horse. We got a lot of races for him, so this is not that difficult of a race. Four and a half lengths back, six and a quarter lengths back, eight lengths back, four and three quarters lengths back. That's pretty close to being a closer. Five lengths back, four lengths back. He got this one oddball race where he did go wire to wire. He 
You got this other race where he stalked. But a whole lot of closing races, I I always err to the side of judgment or err to the side err to the side of error. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I would put him as a stalking closer. I would right now without digging deep into it. Now, as a handicapper, I think I know why he could have went wire to wire that day. He dropped to the basement off of a class drop. He has the inside at golf stream, which is usually good. So maybe with the class drop was why he had speed. But right now, we're not getting into the extra stuff. I just got him as a stalker closer. Let's see. This horse just has a couple races here. He was two by or two by one there. He was on the lead there. If you see a one with a number behind it, it's not beaten lengths. Remember, if the horse is in first, that's how far in front. So don't. Once you see the one, you know he's on the lead. And then another stalking race, I would put him as a speed and stalker. I call my speed and stalkers EP horses. I would put him as an EP. Early pressing. So a speed and a stalker combination. Right here, we got a bunch of mile races. Probably this, this horse might be a little confusing. You don't need to go back this many races because a lot of times you want to look at the current form. I, I've been going back. Uh, now we got a more established horses that ran a lot of more times than the other race. I tend to favor the last few races more than the earlier few. Those could have been a lot higher class. Some things could have went wrong. But let's just get an overall picture. He's five by two. Five by five, so a stalker and a closer. He's two by one. He's second by a head. Three by one. Then we got a couple more, but we got the all the early last races are he's a stalker, except for that one close. I'm gonna err towards the side of him being a stalker. And the reason why I am erring to the side of uh, stalkers uh, in North America on the dirt races, the more races you track and follow, you'll find out that most of the tracks uh, favor uh, early press or early type speed horses and uh, stalkers. So I'm, I'm being more generous by trying not to classify that many horses as closers. Um, it works out on the dirt. So here, this is a first race where we don't have a single route horse. Uh, so I, I don't mind horses stretching out for the first time. But I'll look at his route races. He's six by six, two by one, eight by seven, two by 10. He has a lot more closing recently, but what I do with uh, sprinters stretching out, if I think the horse is a closer, I move him up one spot. So he looks like a closer. It's almost like a little trick here. Uh, sprinters, they go faster pace. I would look at him like he's a stalker. Then we got one more horse here. Got a couple seven furlong races, but we're going to try to just look at the miles for now. Five by two, four by two, two by one, six by two, three by five, and one by one. I'm leaning towards because he won on that race. I know he dropped in class, but we're not getting that far. I'm leaning towards stalkers, but uh, I'm going to put him as an early presser. 
a speed and stalker horse. So I, I'm going to show you guys how I did that. Do our three lines. Let's label it. Look, you guys are already advanced now. I don't have to write speed stalker closer. So early pressing, that's my speed stalker. I'd have him straddling the line for now. I want to look at him as a speed horse and a stalker horse. The six horse I got straight up as a stalker. Five horse I had as a stalker. I hate that I can't rate these. The four horse I got as a speed and stalker. Three is a stalker closer. The two horse is a stalker, and the one is a stalker closer. All right, so there's our, rate, our, our uh, race breakdown. And I'll give you another little thing. The more horses you see up here on the speed line, the faster you can probably think the pace is going to be. Unless a lone horse just decides to lose his mind and uh, try to run them off their feet. Uh, the less horses you have up here, the less likely you are to get a really fast pace and a big speed duel. Uh, so I'd be looking at this race like four and seven are the most likely horses to get the lead. This is without any other handicapping. We, we will. There's other things to learn. This is just the first thing you want to learn. The one and the three are come, probably coming back from the farthest and the two, five, six are going to be in the uh, stalking position. Uh, but that right there is the first thing I think a new person should learn, get good at. If you're, if you're buying the uh, races at form, if you're really smart, you'll learn how to do this before you go to the track. If you're really smart, you would get, let's just say you were going to a racetrack next week and you wanted to impress some coworkers. You, you guys were going for a work function or something like that. I would download the forms before that, you know, for each day they ran, watch them on the computer, get good at doing this, mark up the forms, watch the replays or look at the chart and just see how good you are at least predicting the, uh, the uh, breakdown and then how the race starts to unfold. Uh, I believe you need to learn this before you uh, need to go anywhere else in uh, learning about it. And all we're trying to do is cut down your learning curve. So hopefully that helped. If that helped, let me know in the comments and stuff, and I'll do some more videos about this. If you guys are really new, come watch my live stream where I play Thursdays and Friday live. In front of you guys, you guys can ask questions and and see how it done, see the handicapping process and how advanced it gets from here. But uh, that's all I got right now. So uh, practice that.